Welcome to the 2015 WGC Match Play Championship Final, which promises to be a breathtaking adventure in golf. Spyglass Hill Golf Course takes its theme from Robert Louis Stevenson's classic novel Treasure Island. With this in mind, Robert Trent Jones Sr. set about creating a treasure of his own. Opened in 1966, Spyglass Hill Golf Course features two distinctly different kinds of terrain that influence the way the holes play and look. The first five holes roll through sandy seaside dunes, challenging you to carefully pick the safest path. The following 13 holes are cut through majestic pines with elevated greens and strategically placed bunkers and lakes to grab the errant shot. Hole names such as Black Dog and Billy Bones are hints for the unwary. The stage is set to test the mettle of our two unbeaten grand finalists. Thank you Mike. To the first hole we go for the player announcements. From Massachusetts, trophy winner in this year's European Tour, Charlie B. The challenger from Nottinghamshire, England, Steve Sullivan. Day of the Championship final dawns with conditions calm. The course presents its greatest challenge so far. The greens are stemping at 12.5, and the tournament committee has chosen its most diabolical setup of the event so far. A short tee from Charlie hands in the fairway. A nice start for Charlie B. Steve's tee shot. That lands in the rough. That's going to leave a tough second shot for Steve. You're the man! Steve plays up to the open, 35 yards out. Charlie. Charlie B with a nice second shot, that'll leave him 17 foot for Eagle, and a chance to take the hole. Steve pitches, but still he's on a tough putt, leaks right, that's within 17 foot. For Eagle. Oh, and he puts it well past the hole. Runs the ball well past from a raised lie. It's a three putt opener from six foot. Uh, Steve. Oh. And that's his par, he makes that from three foot. So a missed opportunity for Charlie B. And it's a hole, all square. Hole two is the menacingly named Billy Bones, the par 4. While relatively short, the hole plays uphill and is surrounded by trouble. And he plays a 3 wood. Up the right side. Oh, but that takes a nasty bounce. And that's in the dunes. Steve? A bit more conservative, he takes a 5 wood. Sailed that one. Up the centre of the fairway. Favouring the left side. And that's an excellent tee shot. That holds 102 yards out. A great opportunity for Steve. 102 yards. But race green, 10 foot, 11 foot above the player's head. Oh, and he'll have a chance to win the hole. Oh, and that's a. Good looking high shot. So Charlie, playing from the dunes. This is a tough shot. He's got to hit the snap here. Uh, he 
caught it just a little heavy, I think. Uh, and that's coming back down the slope. Got some distance, but more to do. So, Charlie with the chip. Flag well above his head. And that's on. Oh, but it's, it's stopped up pretty quickly on that green. And Steve. 13 foot putt. Just a little left to right. And just the touches. And that's it for a baby. Great putt. Steve Sullivan is one up. Once a hole three, named the Black Spot, there's a spectacular view of the Pacific Ocean from this elevated sea, which, in the absence of wind, makes the whole place shorter than its yardage. The green is deceptive, sloping from front to back. And uh, he hits a 9-iron. That's a higher shot. It's a very small target. Very difficult. And that's on the green. At some distance from the hole. Charlie B with a nine iron. Oh, and he likes it. Hey. That is nice and close. That's uh, that's a great shot. In. Charlie B will have a chance to even things up. Now Steve putting from in excess of thirty foot. Very nice putt for both. This finishes below the hole. Now Charlie, he has a uh, an eight to nine foot breaker. Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Uh, that one home through. That's a birdie, and the match is back to all square. Hole number four, the par four, Blind Pew, Robert Trent Jones Sr.'s favourite par four because of its options. If the pin is at the back, the favourite approach is to play to the right side of the fairway. If it's in the front, the left presents a better angle. The long slim green has beautiful but treacherous surroundings, sloping down its length from front to back. So Charlie with the honour, he takes his driver. Into the right side of the fairway. Hope you've got a good angle for attacking the flag. Now Steve, also with his driver. Oh, this is a beauty. You can get me more than 20 feet off the ground. There's the stinger. What was that, Jay? Somebody's been mashed potatoes? Very nice throw. Straight down the middle. Charlie B, 100 yards out. Hole falling away. Right to left. Got a good high shot. Which hole's close to the green? It's uh, within seven foot. Similar lie, but he's got 20 yards on his opponent. He's going to float in a high loft wedge. Right around the hole. Two great shots in. Steve playing up the hill, just over 11 foot. Oh, I think well, for a birdie. Now Charlie's a tougher putt, it's a hard breaker, left to right breaker, 7 foot out. And that's in the hole. Two great birdies on that hole from both players. The match, all square. Pole 5 is the second of the par 3s, named Bird Rock. A straightforward par 3, well guarded by three deep pot bunkers in the front and a hidden deep trap to the right. 
Charlie again with the honour. The pin's set at the back of the hole in a tough location. He's got an eight iron in hand. Charlie's ball is through the green, in the rough, just beyond the flag. Now Steve, also with an 8 iron. That's held the green within 8 feet, a great shot. Charlie, chipping from the rough, behind the hole. That's a good touch. Now Steve, for the birdie. And he rolls that home. A birdie for Steve on hole five. Steve Sullivan, one up. Hole six, the pole four. Named after the character from Treasure Island, Israel Hands. The character of Spyglass Hill changes from this hole onwards as a climbing tee shot enters the Del Monte Forest. And it's Steve with the honour. He takes a driver. That's up the left hand side. And that's in the fairway. A good drive. Now Charlie, also with the driver. Oh, and his line. His line's favouring the uh, taken under bunker on the right hand side. And that one's cleared the bunker, and that's in a great position. That shortened the hold up considerably. Steve playing in from 178 yards. Steve fires one in there. And that's a great shot. Right on line. That ends up just 14 feet shy of the hole. Now, Charlie. He has a line that's going to bring the ball from uh, from right to left here, heading a 7 iron in. Another good shot, that's up around the hole as well. Very close, both players playing really well on these opening holes. 17 foot away, uphill for Charlie. That's leaked off. Steve Sullivan with a chance for birdie and a chance for a two hole lead. Just left of the hole. Both players finish up with tap ins. The hole is all square. Steve Sullivan remains in one up. Hole seven is the long par five Indian village. Starting from an elevated tee box, this par five is within range in two good strokes. Severe side slopes and a pond will mean trouble for anything short and left. The challenge continues on the sharply sloped green, making pitch and chip shots, as well as putting, a matter of imagination and precision. Steve Sullivan on the tee, driver in hand. Up the left hand side. Oh, it looks like it's creeping out. Yeah, that's into the left hand rough. Past the bunkers, but in the rough. Now Charlie, again with a driver. And that's down the centre of the fairway. Heavily cantered fairway here, which uh, can throw a ball off line. That's safe, that's in the short stuff. So Steve, from a falling lie in the rough. It's going to have to aim this well out to the uh, right hand side. It's not bad. It doesn't quite have the length and it's uh, slightly overcooked. It's in the right hand rough here. Charlie B from 220 yards. A big opportunity for him to get back in this. This is going to move from right to left. And Mike, that is an outstanding effort. 15 feet from the hole. That's probably in 12 foot. Steve, pitching from the uh, from the rough. And he's pitched up, and that's rolled out to an acceptable distance. It looks to be below the hole. So 
Steve, Steve to putt first. This is from 12 feet for birdie. Oh, and that just breaks slightly from the right to left and that's past the hole. Charlie B with a good opportunity here and a chance to even the match. Four eagle. Oh, and that's well past the hole. He's going to have a tough putt coming back from there. Now, Charlie. Ten footer. And it's in, and the match is all square. Charlie takes the hole. That brings the match back to all square. Hole eight is Signal Hill with a par four. This is the most difficult hole on the course. The long par four is uphill all the way to an elevated green, protected on its right side with the hole's only bunker. So it's Charlie who has the honour on the tee. And that's a big drive. And that's found the said fairway. Nicely done for a difficult pin location which is tucked behind the bunker up at the top of the green. Steve. Oh, that's a good drive. And Steve's ball is uh, he's in the centre of the fairway. Both players looking good. It's Charlie to play first. He has a pitching wedge here. And this is uh, this is going to move from the left to the right. Shot looks right on line. Oh, and that's a great looking shot. Oh, and that's checked up beautifully. Mike, that's the shot of the day. That's the one in one foot. Now, Steve, similar sort of distance, but he's going with a sandwich. You know! Oh, could be a tactical shot here. He's, uh, Steve's playing out well to the uh, left of the flag. Hoping to get a bit of check on the ball, which it does. Steve with a putt. This is coming in from 20 foot downhill. He starts it rolling. It's right on line. Oh, and just comes off to the left hand side. And for the first time today, Charlie B is one up. Hole 9 is named after the Treasure Island character, Captain Smollett. It's a par 4, playing uphill to a massive green, guarded by deep bunkers. The green slopes severely from back to front, meaning putts above the hole hold an extra challenge compared to those below. Charlie with the honour on the tee. A large drive, taking the brave liner over the fairway bunker on the right hand side that's sailed well past the nets nicely in the fairway Steve on the tee he hits his drive into the centre of the fairway a nice tee shot for Steve Sullivan Charlie to play first 9-9 nine -nine in hand and that looks good. Oh, he hit the pin. <laughs> and now the pressure is on for Sullivan to make a clutch shot here to Gary and Johnny at the ninth green. Johnny, that's... Better than most. How about in? That is better than most. Better than most! 